Well, good evening. Uh, this is just a quick follow-up to my uh, to my uh, three four four zero one A uh, video where we had a, a failure of the Xana CR three zero five, and so what I've just gotten is well, I've just noticed that there's a bunch of this uh, tape residue here on the the front panel. But uh, I've just received from uh, DigiKey the uh, replacement uh, items. And here we can see there the replacement uh, uh, Xenodiodes there. So let me just finish cleaning off this great start to the video. Thrilling. Uh, cleaning off this front panel here. And notice a little tape residue there. And now let's uh, jump in and... Uh, actually repair this. So what I have to do is to find the right uh, screwdriver, come in here, take this uh, this rear panel off again and so we can see the, you know, you just take these two uh, bolts, these two screws out. The screws are, have retaining clips on them so that they're held in the, the actual item there and then we have this screw here so we're going to go take this guy out, drop him in here, and then we can slide the, the case right off. So now, turning it over, you'll remember that uh, I showed that uh, the CR305 is right in there. So let's take this cover off. And so now... The little bottom piece has come off. Let's put that over here. And then we can lift this up and slide it across, which frees it from the bottom panel. And then if we zoom in, and give it a sec, you'll see that that is exactly where C305 is. Now I have a uh, little bit of flux residue there. We're going to get some more flux on it when we go to put this in. Um, I think I might just be able to get away with uh, uh, dropping the the uh, Xena on there and then uh, just uh, uh, reflowing that, uh, that solder. So let's uh, go in and get uh, uh, things ready and then we'll uh, we'll come right back Here we can see the, the little Xenas in their um, uh, Shipping tape now this is the tape they normally come in on a pick-and-place machine uh, As they pick them out of each of the little uh, uh, trays here, and then we'll place them on their items so They're uh, as you can see my finger. They're very small uh, uh, SOT 23 packages, so what I'm going to do is take them out of take one out of here. I bought uh, they're 19 cents each or something like that. So I bought five of them. It was 90 cents worth of um, there might have been less 90 cents worth of, uh, of diodes. So we'll take uh, one of them out here and place it on uh, the unit and uh, then try and uh, solder in. So let's uh, jump in and get this back in place there. You know what I'm going to go. Do I? Yes, I want to approach it this way. Yeah, so we'll put on a little bit of the uh, MG Chemical uh, Flux uh, stuff here. I quite like this. The Flux Pen is a nice way of getting a fair amount of flux in on there fairly easily. Then we'll grab our uh, tweezers. And then I'm going to have to move everything because I lost the, uh, uh, where I put the, uh, to do, there we go, okay. And so I'm just going to peel back a little bit of that and take one of those guys out. And you can see the, the item right there. So they're really not very big at all. So let's go and flip this guy over and see if what we can do oh, 
is with it flipped over just get it into the right place and then just hold it there and reflow it so this is I'm going to try this this is really a bit difficult because uh, I don't have a, a stereo mi a microscope I'm looking more or less at the little image of my camera and so I'm trying to push this guy in without any depth perception at all okay so I think if I hold it there I should be able to tack down this uh, this one this piece over here because that's that's actually not connected to anything in the package uh, so I should just be able to push down oh. Come back Okay, so now we're finished with the distractions and everything. I'm going to see if I can just tack this guy into place. Um, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to, to see this. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can just get it aligned. That's pretty close. There we go. I oh mean, it's horrible. You can see the, the bunch of uh, the solder there. All right, let's try and get some This is a lot harder than it looks to get that solder in so there is a mess of uh, excess solder there let's see me if I can just give it a little clean up with some solder wick so that it doesn't look like a massive amount I understand now what uh, people when Dave Jones was talking about how it's you know soldering under the camera makes you look like a, an idiot because you know I can it's really really hard to try and get because I, I don't have a mantis like he does so I have zero depth perception you know and so I'm just trying to pick up I'm trying to pick up a little bit of that solder you know without picking up all of the solder okay so now let's just see if we can reflow that a little bit but I have no depth perception so it's like it's virtually you know impossible to try and see it right, I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to do um, if I keep doing the soldering under the scope thing, I may have to actually invest in one of those Mantis scopes. Okay, well, time to tell. Let's plug this guy back in. Let's zoom out. Okay, and then hold the shift key down. Okay, and if all went to plan, nice.
Nice. There we go. All right, well, this is now ready for me to go and calibrate. Not, it's like 18 cents to go and repair that. Um, let me put a little bit of uh, uh, IPA on there and see if we can pull up uh, that uh, flux residue. And I think uh, uh, I'll be able to take this uh, over to my calibrator and have the uh, have the uh, the unit calibrated. So anyway, I hope you found part two of this where uh, we actually now had a proper uh, repair and had that all uh, done. Catch you later. Bye.